2018. That's the whole timeline. This is a little long. I don't know if I don't know if I want to watch 35 minutes of this right now. But you know what? I'll give it a chance to hook me. Content warning. In this video, we will be displaying explicit messages that were sent to a minor, but we'll be giving you another warning before it happens. So, it's okay. been a few months That's since pretty intense. Games released our video titled How Roblox is Exploiting Young Game Developers. In it, we shone a light on how Roblox, which is today one of the largest video games in the world, encourages children to make games on its platform only to give them a tiny fraction of the revenue that their games make. We had concerns well, about the mean, extent yeah. to which Roblox is a system that, that predates right. on child creativity. And overwhelmingly, you folks shared those concerns. With game developers the world over reacting with... Do I, do I need to watch the first one to understand this one? This seems pretty easy to follow so far. Roblox exploits kids. Allegedly. Uh, no, Roblox exploits kids. I'll, I'll, I'll say it with my chest. I don't think I need like the first bit of context. Shock and anger at how Roblox was treating its creators. But I'll tell you who else had an interesting reaction to our reporting, Roblox Corporation. You might remember a part in the last video where we talked about a page on roblox.com that told kids they could make serious mm -hmm. cash. After our video was released, this was Big silently Robux. removed from the platform. Oh. But this was just an appetizer Ruin the of dreams. what was to come. As a result of the first video blowing up, we had a lot of members of the Roblox community reach out to us because they felt we'd only just scratched the surface and they wanted to tell us about other huge and unfair problems with the platform that they felt were going unreported. And that's what this video is. This is us reporting our findings from the interviews we conducted with those people. All right. So with this in mind, we reached out to Roblox again. You see, when we were researching the first video, we emailed them asking for an interview or comment, and they did not respond. But with half a million well, views, yeah, they're like a billion dollar we company. Out to Roblox to say that we were working on a follow up, and this time, mm. Roblox's new senior director of corporate communications and public affairs offered to speak to us on the phone to see if we could arrange an interview. Oh yeah, Spoiler, let's go. We did not oh. succeed at arranging a straight interview. However, during that call, Roblox told us that our first video contained a number of errors going as far as to suggest that we take our video off YouTube. Now, we asked Roblox again and again what these errors were, and we never once got a straight answer. The closest we got was Roblox sending us to a link to a blog post from somebody with the online handle Eco Scratcher asking us, do you plan on editing or removing the video based on some of the things the author raises? What is this? Let me read this. Well, it's just a bunch of fucking Twitter links. What, what is he linking? People sucking Roblox's cock or something? How is that helpful? Didn't he ask them what the errors were? And his response is here. Check these Twitter posts from real Evan Pickle. Like, what? how is that supposed to be helpful? As you can see, Mr. Pickle over here happened to have uh, noticed a little editing error. Uh, your voice was a bit off sync. But this oh, pick it, pick it. It misquotes us. It misinterprets our argument. The original draft of it got my name wrong. In the description of this video, you can find a link Aerosite, to Eco Twan, as well as a Prime link to an clown. unlisted video that we made going point by point explaining why we don't think any of it undermines our reporting. Our team was, and still is, amazed that Roblox Corporation, a company valued in the tens of billions of dollars, chose to lean on a post like this in order to pressure us to take down our report. It does seem because scary though. What this is, by the way. So no, People Make Games has not taken down our original video, but we have made this one instead. This video is divided into four parts. Part one, Roblox's unregulated managers. Part two, moderation and child safety. Part three, did you know there's an entire stock market baked into this game's official store in which children are encouraged <laughs> to gamble real money? Yeah, so let's go! reported on this yet? Come to think of it, because it's great. We miss it in the first video. That's how you make a lot of money. You get kids gambling. This is black markets. 
So, let's start with the fact that as Roblox has gotten more popular in recent years, it's developed a new safety issue that runs totally contrary to the platform's core idea of letting cool kids dude. make games for other kids. I have no idea how you fix this, by the way. It seems completely disastrous. So back in the day, Roblox's central proposition was straightforward. Individual kids could play around with tools and make games for other kids and maybe make money. But as Roblox has gotten more players, at the time of this video, it has 47.3 million users every day. Holy the most shit. popular games on the platform have been making more and oh more my money. God. Which means That's there's more, crazy and more number. competition to be among the popular games that Roblox users actually play. Which means today, less and less of the games on Roblox are the work of just one person. Mostly, the popular games are made by whole teams of people who are improving the scripting, modeling, the sound, and are churning out updates to keep people playing. And yeah, but you don't need that. I guess this is just more of like a PSA to any hopeful game devs if you want to just start making money on Roblox. You can make anything. Kids will watch and play anything. Even if it's the most dog shit thing ever. Because kids are entertained by anything. So you don't have to put that much effort into it. Just make a lot of them. And then I'm sure you'll make plenty of money doing that. Just keep churning shit out. Not true. Look at YouTube kids. Any kids content fucking pops off. Because kids will actually watch anything. And look at games. Like go on Steam new releases. And no matter how awful the game is. You'll at least see some reviews from some very clearly young players. It's just, you will literally always have an audience if you cater it towards kids. Because kids will actually play or watch anything. Is Roblox working as intended? During the keynote at the Roblox Developer Conference in 2018, CEO David Bazuki predicted that in the next five years there would be a game on Roblox developed by a company of 100 people. No. To Roblox Corporation, better games made by bigger teams are a sign of the platform's success. But what this means is that Roblox Corporation is still Deku. using the language of hey kids, come get creative and make games in a way that parents are always going to be cool with. But in actual fact, the reality is significantly more complicated. Thank you the five gift subs, Think Ninja. of it like this. Appreciate it, man. Everyone's okay with kids making games for Roblox because its games and tools are designed as a allegedly child safe Thanks environment. But the bigger Roblox's development teams get, the less work is done in these environments. Today, more and more people who want to take their Roblox development career seriously, develop marketable skills like animation or programming for Roblox, and then leave the platform to sell their skills in a totally unregulated cluster of virtual communities, mostly Discord servers. Signing contracts, or worse, having no contract at all with bosses who might have no experience in management and might be a no. child themselves. <laughs> and Roblox does not... <laughs> I like that, like, thought process. Like, this underground syndicate of developers. They've gone rogue. And it's just a bunch of fucking kids in suits exploiting each other for their Robux. It is crazy, though. I feel like it'd be better if kids weren't creating games from just doing it. Because at least then you'd know as a parent it's at least something of decent quality. Like, if I had a kid, last thing I'd want him doing is wasting his fucking time playing something that... My dumb neighbor's kid made. I want him playing something good. Fucking Psychonauts or some shit. Not moderate anything that happens out here because technically it didn't happen on Roblox.com. Or think of it like this. Roblox is saying, come and make games. Legally speaking, your child isn't entering the workforce. But if you then say, okay, who is my child working for? Roblox says, my I child. Don't know. Will oh. they pay my child fairly? I don't know. Will they mistreat my child? I don't know. Is it safe for my child to do this? Oh, absolutely. But if something does happen to my child, there's simply no way to be sure. Will you be taking action against those responsible? No. I, well, I'll tell you who does take act. I'm sorry to keep interrupting. This actually is a pretty interesting topic. There is a community of people who take action against Roblox bad actors. And it's right here on the terminated players list. This is where the Roblox villains live. Forever in infamy, on the wall of shame. We've got, and we have some of the most heinous players in all of Roblox history. Including Greg9 and Greg... 
one nine 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 one one two sun. And if you go down far enough, you'll find the most dastardly of them all. Uh, wait, where is he? Hold on, I gotta get to the X's. Hold on. Why is he not on here? Uh, where's Sonic the Hedgehog? XX Sonic the Hedgehog? He is, he escaped. <laughs> That's probably what it was. He, oh, I got his name wrong. The X, X's came after. Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. This guy terrorized the streets of Roblox for far too long. Not even the CIA was enough to stop him in his prime. He had to be taken down by other kids in the server. Until one day he just left peacefully. They weren't locked in there with him. He was locked in there with them at the end of it all. God rest his soul. He actually commented on my Roblox video. He actually still goes by this name on his YouTube channel. <laughs> so... It's a bit disingenuous to say Roblox doesn't do anything when there's bad actors in their community. Because, I mean, look at this. This counts as something. Jim Wool is... Yeah, I haven't seen Jim Wool on these lists yet, but he's probably just too new. He's like the most recent raid boss. Roblox developer reached out to tell us their story. Jordan, not their real name, joined the team behind a popular Roblox game that saw them being paid a percentage Wooly, the of the game's pig. revenue. Then, when the owners of that game left to start work on their next game, Jordan thought, this is my chance. I planned out for spring break. Okay, spring break, I'm gonna work like 60 hours this week. So basically I kind of crunched. Then we released the update and it was wildly successful. Congrats, it brought congrats. the game to the number one position. Oh, let's go. And then, they decided I was making too much. Oh. So they finally told us about the company that they had incorporated. The people that Jordan oh was God, working Robert. with had, without telling anybody, formed a company. Makes Meaning that Jordan squash. wasn't a partner anymore. They were now legally. Fuck, man. Thank you, Robert. Employee. After like going months of not managing the game after the Jesus game's been Christ. wildly Thank successful you, due to us as the workers, I decided to m start managing the game. And then them telling and me it's good that to I see you again, Robert. Enough, Hope you're doing well. They started kind of making veiled threats that I was replaceable. Then they decided we decided that this percentage cut, this you know revenue split, isn't viable for the long term, and so we're gonna pay you fixed salaries from now on, which you can increase by working harder. <laughs> so did Jordan then fight for better treatment or try and warn other people about these bosses? No. Because of how Roblox is structured, Jordan decided that the smart move was just to quit and keep quiet. Frankly, there's like a culture in Roblox against speaking out. Why? It's just like reputation and like job security in the future. Cause like in Roblox, oh, I see. if you have a bad reputation with the community, you're gonna have a harder time getting job offers or even offering people jobs. Jordan's situation is sad, but not in any way surprising. The way that Roblox is structured, individual users can take unilateral control over games and the revenue that those games bring in. And Roblox has set up no it. obvious outreach program for developer abuse. In fact, talking about what your boss did to you on the official Roblox developer forums falls under the category of harassment. And since there's no plan- Let me read these real quick. Yeah, if you're mistreated by your boss, don't tell Roblox about it. You you yourself get banned. Rightfully so. Fucking snitch. Wow. Nice. Cool rules form for Roblox developers to talk about this stuff, it's impossible to know how common these shady business practices are. Now, while we weren't able to arrange a straight interview with Roblox, they did tell us that they were happy to go through a normal question and answer process and provide statements. So we emailed- Ooh, hold on a second. Hey Connor, the structure of Roblox is so strange to me because I had an offer of like 20k from a Roblox game developer to have them make games for me to stream. But it was somewhat sketchy and I wasn't sure how involved the Roblox themselves were. 20k to stream some Roblox games and you didn't do it, Connor? You, you deserve to be on the fucking controversial players list on the 
fucking Roblox wiki. What a deal. You have to play Roblox and get 20k? Are you, are you insane? Unbelievable. But yeah, obviously Roblox is themselves isn't involved. It's just some like weird, crusty dudes that develop pretty mediocre experiences. But god damn it, that's what makes Roblox Roblox. Why do people keep saying check Roblox stock? Ah, that's a rough day. That's a rough day for Roblox fans everywhere. Oh, that's a rough five day. Oh, this is a bad month for Roblox fans everywhere. But it's a good it's a good year. We're looking good on the year though. So you you know, win some, you lose some. How long has it been publicly traded? Not that long. Yeah, it's just this year. Them a list of 13 questions relating to all the areas that we're covering in this video. Is it Prime Birdo, no resub DJ. It is clear to us from the nature of the questions that they are not from a place of objective inquiry and therefore rather than address them individually, we think it's important that we take a step back and present the fuller picture when it comes to our approach to moderation and the creator community. And that was followed by six bullet points that we'll be reading as appropriate, but here's the headlines. We asked Roblox, many of Roblox's young developers are working under other young developers with no oversight. Mm -hmm. What options does a Roblox developer have if they experience exploitation or unfair treatment working for another Roblox developer? Call the police, and I don't know. What tools have you provided Roblox Better users business to bureau? know if they are being exploited by the people they're working with? Roblox chose not to answer those questions. Instead, they sent us this statement. Roblox takes reports of abuse very seriously, and where a violation of our standards is found, we take action on our platform against the accused. I'm not sure how Good much statement. comfort that's going to bring to Jordan, but let's move on to part two. When talking about problems with Roblox's moderation, it is hard to know where to start. The side of the moderation that makes the best headlines are the games that simply should not be there. Like this Wired article on the fascist roleplay <laughs> games, or this Rolling Stone article what? on the trolls who are always coming up with new ways to hide sex games oh, God. in Roblox. To hear Roblox's players tell it, the moderation is infuriating because it simply works when it's not supposed to and doesn't work when it is supposed to. With automated filters offering unfair temporary bans for using words like fat, gay and pill while still leaving enough scammers on the platform that the BBC chose to issue a warning. Hold on, I want to read that. Oh, so it's kind of like the zero tolerance. Oh, so it's kind of like the zero tolerance thing. RuneScape kind of has the same thing. If you get scammed, it's basically go fuck yourself. And it's really not like the worst policy in the world to have because it would be so highly exploited otherwise. So I guess like the best thing they could do is have like some kind of, I don't know, like Scrub McGruff crime dog teach you how to avoid scams. Like I don't really know what you're supposed to do. It's just people getting scammed. And if you like come in there to try and like hold their hand, like, okay, you got scammed, we'll give you your shit back. Then there's going to be a million other people who pretend they got scammed and it's going to be a whole mess. There's really just not a good solution to that. So I, I understand Roblox's policy there. Let me see tier one. Pringa and the tier one psych blush. To hear Roblox developers tell it? Well, we actually have a story about moderation from a Roblox developer Thanks, coming Risa, up later in this video. For now, we're going to tell just one story. And again, it relates to how Roblox's community has long since outgrown Roblox.com with its questionable moderation and today often has no moderation at all. The official Roblox forums, not the developer forums, were shut down in 2017. Oh, what a, what a bad year. They didn't feel they could create a, Rough. quote, constructive and positive environment. The Roblox wiki adds this. It is commonly believed that the shutdown was the direct result of a YouTuber known as Isotoxic raiding the forums just a day earlier. Along with the infamous post by Jared Pogi 123 caber on October 1st of that year, which linked to an illegal child sexual Holy state. shit. So to clarify, because Roblox couldn't make their forum safe, they decided Jesus to Christ. instead shut the whole thing down. Today, the Roblox community is found on Discord, YouTube, Twitter. Even the Roblox developer forums are very, very quiet when compared to all of the unofficial Roblox developer Discord servers. 
So today, Roblox sees kids and celebrity developers mingling. And Roblox more, saying, if it didn't happen on Roblox.com, it's not our responsibility. Now, rather than explain why this is a problem, instead we're going to report on one young girl's experience. So, after this channel's last video on Roblox, a number of concerned parties got in touch with us to see if we could force Roblox to act regarding a Roblox developer with a few nicknames, including Dr. Rofatnik and <laughs> Jaden Shedletsky. The infamous Rofatnik? Sarah. No! Real name. I've when trusted Sarah him for years. Doc in a Discord server, Doc was 24 and he knew that Sarah was 12. Not Dr. Rofatnik. When I him, uh, he had mentioned his Roblox fan game and I was like, hey, I like Roblox too. He was making a Roblox Sonic fan game. Too oh, fans. that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, God. Time. So I asked oh him about it. God. Next thing I know, I get like five pings and he sends me a bunch of gifts of it. Of course He's he sending was. me progress of it already. I, he was the one who uh, started taking the inappropriate jokes in the DMs first. He kept encouraging it, saying that it was okay to make these oh, jokes. The it's, it's not illegal, it's not breaking any laws, even though it was literally sexting. It was, it, it got to ERP level at, at one point. This flirtation continued for a few months, but Sarah made friends within these games as So, hold on, so, someone fill me in. I, I pretend that I, I know who Rofatnik is. Who is he? Is he on like the actual Roblox team? Like as a moderator or something? Or is he just a developer? Like a random developer making shitty Sonic porn? Okay, so he's not on the actual Roblox team, he's a dev. Got it, okay. Just not like a Roblox dev, but like a dev of just this game, this weird game. So he's just a random guy, not affiliated with Roblox. Okay, gotcha. Oh, hung around for years with Doc continuing to act controllingly and inappropriately. It wasn't until 2020 that Sarah's friends were able to convince her that this behavior was not okay and helped her to come forward with evidence of Doc's behavior. However, as anyone who's been following the Me Too movement will know, coming forward like this often has devastating consequences for the victim. It was relieving somewhat, but at the same time, like, because, like, I want to do something about Doc for a long time. Then, like, a little after that, it was really anxiety-inducing seeing everybody start to formulate arguments. And then, the first, like, real bad thing that happened uh, to me personally was when I randomly got pinged by somebody who actually does work for SEO. And fun fact, when he was 11 years old and he pretended to be a girl, Doc had also flirted with him before me. And he was just like, dude, what the f**k's your problem? Doc rejects you. What and the now fuck? you And, and you, you turn right around and try ruining his life for attention. And I was like, what the f are you talking about? Jesus. Doc released a video denying the allegations, going as far as including this audio of the developer still working under him, defending his character. The DMs that were exchanged between Jaden and the victims were not okay, but Jaden is by no means a pedophile. He understands the clear dividing line <laughs> between jokes and serious <laughs> actions against others. No fucking way. Yes, this guy clearly understands jokes such as, I'd fuck you so hard. I mean, that's a that's a knee slapper. I, I pretty much tell that one to all my cousins and stuff at Thanksgiving, too. I mean, it's just a good joke, I guess, right? Doc, I mean, again, this is Dr. Rofatnik. I mean, that guy, that guy is one of the greats. He he understands comedy. It is a, it is a bit silly to try and, like, assassinate his character like that. I'm just saying what he did was extremely wrong, and I agree with you all with that, but he's not a f***ing pedophile. And this is Doc speaking. So let me start by apologizing for the things I've said. I know I shouldn't have said those things regardless of the context. Moving forward, I will not have this behavior. While I will not defend myself for the things I said explicitly, I will protect myself from the blatant attempt at character assassination. For as distasteful as the comments I made are, they weren't genuine. I feel like I'm listening to a man at the bait club. I did actually self harm after the response video came out. I mean, I thought my why does he talk like that? Reputation was destroyed now. You know? Prime, well, anyone who had any involvement in SEO was going to see this. K. Now, after Sarah and her friends came forward with evidence of Doc's behavior, Roblox did delete Doc's personal account. However, this in no way removes this accused abuser from the platform or 
stops his income. Before Doc's account was deleted, he transferred ownership of his Sonic games to an account created specifically to hold them. According to Sarah's friends, they have asked Roblox to do something about this by using the moderation tools, emailing Roblox, asking Roblox's moderators on social media, and even delivering a handwritten note to Roblox headquarters, and the games are still there. While working on this piece, we were sent a 40 minute video of Roblox community members harassing a developer who has since left the development team. Yeah, because you're stupid and you work with a pedophile and he pays you, of course you're gonna disagree. Oh, the vigilantes. It's quite something, this video. <laughs> you're watching a mob of people harangue a young developer for working for an alleged abuser because they feel there's no way. This is, uh, this is so weird. <sighs> All right, mom, give me your credit card. I need to buy the almost Batman Daft Punk skin because I'm hunting pedophiles on Roblox. Also, I'm going to need that credit card again for the special emote where I'm hiding my face, kind of, or dabbing. Like, wait, this is so weird. Surely there's a better way than going into Roblox with a traffic cone and a Halloween costume to confront fucking Patriot Prime. It's so hard to like wrap my head around that this is real. God damn. Now obviously I think Roblox should step in in cases like these and arbitrate, like actually get to the bottom of what is real and what is not or what is just like harassment of someone innocent, if that is the case. I don't think they should put it in the hands of actual kids. Under no means. Kids should not be hunting pedophiles in their own game. Good God. There should be some kind of feature or some kind of team that Roblox has that takes these on a case-by-case -case basis. They're gonna get a response from Roblox. We sent Roblox the following questions. After banning the creator of the game Sonic Simulator from Roblox.com, does Roblox still intend to leave the games on the platform generating revenue for the creator? And if someone is banned from Roblox, what safeguards from generating revenue for the creator? And if someone is banned from Roblox, what safeguards are in place to stop them from making a new account and continuing their behavior? Included in the bullet points Roblox sent us were these responses. We have a large, expertly trained team with thousands of members dedicated to protecting our users and monitoring 24-7 for inappropriate content. So it sounds like they have the team. Developers removed from our platform Why doesn't it work? policy violations also lose access to monetizing. That's not true! That's what all of these people oh. are trying to tell them again and again. Doc is still publicly leading the development of his Sonic games, as this recent update video from him proves. Doc's ban did nothing. He's still making money for Roblox and paying developers to come and work under him. Hello everyone, Chris here with a quick addition to this video as Quinns was actually away when this part came through. So we also got in contact with Doc to give them an opportunity to oh, comment on what we've Doc. shown you. And here is his response. Now you can pause the video and read through the message in full if you'd like to, but perhaps most importantly, he tells us that the messages that were originally released by Sarah and two others who came forwards in 2020, some of which you've seen recreated in this video were taken out of context. Although later on, he does also refer to his interactions as having been immature, problematic, and unacceptable. He also claims that those messages were not the reason he was even banned from Roblox in the first place. And in a follow-up told us that another one of his accounts was banned for something which led to several accounts being banned in one go, including his main one, but he didn't wish to explain. It probably had nothing to do with was actually for. talking and to finally, kids like well that, on the probably. Eclipse online team, he says, SEO follows my original vision, but that vision has been entrusted to other people to execute the blueprint. If any staff members ask me specifically about that project, I will answer them. Which makes it sound like he's what? A, an advisor? An external consultant? You're probably asking, what's up with the rest of SEO? Where is it at? I wasn't well, asking that. We've been making some stellar progress as of right now, and we actually have a bunch of things. But if we look at this video Wait, published on his channel in April of this year, I can year, actually just hear the Dorito dust on that guy's fingers. My God. And his team, including this bit. He has the voice of a creepy guy. Steadily regaining our footing. That's Doc's avatar at the top there with the words owner, director, programmer, and animator next to it, which again raises the question, has Doc's role and influence changed in any meaningful way since Roblox was first alerted to the sexual messages he sent 
to a 12 year old girl. The fact that these messages happened on Discord should not justify Roblox remaining silent. In any other workplace, if someone was accused of harassment, for example, whether that was through Slack or Gchat or personal DMs or whatever form, it's still a responsibility of that company to take things seriously. And again, it's worth pointing out here that we've asked Roblox about Dot continuing to earn an income on their platform, and they chose not to answer that question directly. Now, from the upsetting to the just plain unbelievable. I cannot believe we missed this in our first video. I can't believe the market analysts missed this when Roblox became a publicly traded company and went through an exhaustive valuation. So, Roblox is one of the largest sources of children's entertainment today, right? Mm. Think about other big children's brands like Lego or Disney. Think about what the market expects from these brands in terms of safety and care for their audience. Take a look at this. Pretty much nothing this with Legos. This is Roblox's homepage. If we just no click the Avatar that. Shop and then Collectibles, it's like painful we're to play with. something that looks totally normal but only gets more jaw-dropping the more you study it. A shop where any Roblox user, no matter their age, can gamble. Potentially making big real-life profits, but more likely losing some Holy or shit. all of their investment. What you're looking at here are collectible cosmetics that Roblox either sells a limited number of or sells for a limited time. This is time. pretty fucking Most interesting. Most recently as tie-ins with brands like Vans, the YouTuber KSI, or Swedish pop star Zara Larsson. And once this initial sale period is over, the only way that kids can get them is either by swapping items with other Roblox users or buying them direct from other So they have users. basically what TF2 Roblox has. Economy, is kids trying to look cool in front of other kids? These items immediately They've got some gambling. In value Let's go. Five dollars or ten dollars that Roblox sells them for. For example, here's a sparkly blue fedora that sells on average for fifteen thousand U.S. dollars. But the important part here is that Roblox always takes a thirty percent cut from oh. any sale that happens on its platform. So the more absurdly 30? overpriced these items get, the more money Roblox makes. There are so many reasons that this is dangerous and irresponsible. I don't know if Roblox knows much about kids, but they tend to not understand the value of money and they tend to make bad decisions. We spoke to an Australian teenager called Jack who does a good job of showing why Roblox continuing to mint and pro- Also, you only get a 23% cut from your game while Roblox takes the rest. So even as a developer? Oh, that's fucking crazy. Man, Roblox has got it figured out. So you take 20, you only keep 23% of your game's profit as a developer, and if you're selling items, you get 70, so you do get the lion's share there, of course, but a 30% cut to Roblox on that is an absurdly high amount. What does, what does Valve take? Do they even take a percent? It's been a long time since I traded items. What does, does what does Valve do? I don't know why I'm asking chat. I'm getting like so many wildly different answers. Let me, I'm just going to look it up myself. Okay, let's see. Okay, it looks like five, yeah, 5% 5 of the market and 30% for games. I mean, I just did a really quick search, but it looks like Valve takes 30% from games and 5% from items on their stores. That's a lot. 5% is fine on the market side, but 30% from the games? I didn't know it was that big. Thirty percent is industry standard, is it? I guess I mean the benefit of being on Steam is it's the biggest platform for PC. So I guess they like earn that percentage. But I guess you could argue the same for Roblox. Like if you're a developer and you're making a Roblox game, it can't be anywhere but Roblox. I don't know, it still seems like a lot. Profit from these collectibles is a nauseating example of the company putting profits before the well-being of its audience. When Jack was 13, he managed the impressive feat of making a hit Roblox game. He called it Secret Pet Hatching Simulator, which made him 200,000 Robux. Oh my god, he's a billionaire. In a heartbeat, 
if he'd spent it. Oh. Uh, it was really stupid back then, but like I spent it on stuff in the catalog instead of devexing it into real money, which I really regret now. I spent like half of it and bought like two faces and a hat. <laughs> and then um, after the hey, other 100,000 finished pending good. and I got it in my account, um, I wanted this bigger item. It was called the Silver King of the Night. There's a, there are multiple answers to this, so I'm going to have to ask you, why did you do this? Honestly, like, because I'd been playing the game for like four years at that point. How much is that in USD, just so I get a perspective? I just, oh, here we go. I didn't look very hard there. So this is 2,000, so 2,000 Robux for, okay, I see. It's not like a crazy amount. So he made, but at that age, I guess it is. Oh, he tells you in the video. Oh, well, it's too late. I already just looked it up here. If this is accurate. For a kid, that's a lot. But it, I mean, this isn't like a life-changing amount that he immediately gambled away. So at least it's not something that he's going to look back on in fucking 10 years and be like, oh my God. And like, I'd always been like looking in the catalog, always wanting those items and like, you know, just finally being able to afford them. All right, I got My you, Dr. B. told me yeah, to go sense. for it, you know? Worse, buying these items pushed Jack below the 100,000 Robux minimum withdrawal amount, so Jack had just gone from receiving a paycheck of almost a thousand Australian dollars from mm. Roblox to having a paycheck of zero dollars. What would you have done with that money if you had it? With that money, I think I would have kept like 300 in savings just for a later life, and um, I would have spent the other 500. Um, I would have spent the other 550 probably to upgrade my setup and buy a new master keyboard and stuff. Okay. Makes you sense. Would have upgraded your hardware that would have been useful, I would say, for a, yeah. a young game developer. Yep. Why is Roblox selling to children items that cost like hundreds of Australian dollars? What do you mean, yeah, why? It's pretty mind boggling. It's obvious like, why. I've never spent that much money in real life. But Jack's story gets worse. It's not just irresponsible of Roblox to sell kids these items. It is dangerous for Roblox to let kids be in possession of assets that are this expensive. After Jack had bought these items, a Roblox developer that he'd been talking to for a couple of months that he thought was his friend sent Jack a file that Jack thought was an asset to help with Jack's next game. I oh my god. This file off the Roblox website. He keylogged it. contained a cookie. You can get into their account just by having the cookie. He sold the limited items oh, for like no. pretty cheaply and made a quick, like, I think it was like 50k after he sold them. I hate myself because of it, because like, with that money, I could have made like my parents proud. Jack oh, then it's went so fucking Roblox's sad, poor process, guy. And they responded that they couldn't help because Jack had sold the items himself. Jack sent in Thanks another ticket spider. and got the same response. Jack sent in a third ticket and this time got the response that they couldn't help him because the transaction the had spider, happened yeah. more than 30 days ago. But at least Jack still had his profitable hit game, right? Well, no. Because in another win for Roblox's superb moderation, his game had been deleted through no fault of his own. In Roblox Studio, there's something called the Toolbox, where like you can get assets made by other people and use them for your own game. And then the game got banned because I wasn't allowed to use something that Roblox had provided to me. Some stranger, what? it turned out, had harvested resources from someone else's game and uploaded them to the Toolbox illegally which meant Jack was using them illegally, even though he'd been provided them by official Roblox channels, and his game, his work, his income was dead. God damn! Jack's learning Unity now. Jack got but slapped! But all of this selling collectibles to kids is actually only half of what makes the collectibles market so disturbing. Because the market tells all Roblox users what the original price of these items was and a chart of how that price has changed, Roblox has created and continues to support a stock market yeah. for users to gamble Let's on, go. on their children's platform. With Roblox continuing to take That's a That's the future, baby. Time they're sold between players. This is a breathtaking... Damn, look at the price of that bitch down there. The Crimson Wraith... Or Crimson Wrath, the Red Wrath. 69, 69, 69. So that's, that's about, what, three grand? Roughly three grand? Dude, well, the white sparkle, for, of course it's a fedora. The white spark, this is probably one of Doc Ro Robo, Robo Fat Man. What was his name? Robo Fat, Robo Fat Nick? 
Probably one of his custom items. The $1.4 million fedora. Robux fedora. So that's going to be... What's that? 8,000? 8, 8, right around 8,000? Is that right? Oh, you're right. There's a 9 million. I didn't see it with the, the captions. There's 9 million Roblox, Roblox Magna Spectro Inspectors. Fuck, what the fuck is this? Little Dexter's lab goggles? Oh my god. Whoever owns this owns Roblox right now. Oh, I want to take a peek at those bad boys. Let me go to the Roblox stocks. What was it? The Magna... Where is it? Magna Spectro Inspectors. I can read a little about them. It's a limited face accessory. It was published in the Avatar Shop by Roblox in 2010 it could have been purchased for 500 robux and only 66 were sold no imagine one man has all 66 he'll be the next warren buffett the ultimate roblox investor what's the price like now let me uh we're gonna where can i see it rollymons what is that? Spending 5 million Robux on Magna Spectro Inspectors. This guy made profit. Roblox.trade. Where are the where are the numbers? It's still 9 million, I guess. I mean, granted, yeah, it's only been a couple days since the video went up. Can I see the owners? Is it like an NFT? Can I see who owns all of these? Is this it? This is it? Oh my god! I can actually see who has them! Oh! The, they actually, this is actual NFTs! This is fucking nuts! Alright, so Roblox themselves has one. You, uh, you fucking know. One of those devs is going to sell this at some point just for a little quick buck on an alt account or something. Thanks to tier one Shibata and the recent popcorn. Totally not Shed's got two. This guy's about to be a fucking millionaire. Oh, so many of the, oh my God. So many of these accounts are terminated. What a, what a shame. I already know I'm going to see Sonic the Hedgehog's name in here. That goddamn menace. Who's like the oldest owner here? Why is it all 2016? Oh, this might just be when the data came through. Might not be like act uh, ac accurate. The Magna Specter inspectors are worth $31.5 thousand dollars. Not Robux, dollars. And the very first owner according to this seems to be reverse racist. Man, those Magna Specter Inspector gadgets or whatever the fuck, they went to a loving household. Exit Prime, sir, and the resub starve. Holy shit, this is crazy. Totally not Shed's got two. I don't know what he's waiting for. I can't imagine there's a better time to sell. The hype here on Roblox is reached, I think, its peak. I can't imagine it gets more popular. Now it's only down from here. It's totally not shed. I'll advise you on how to navigate this. I'll take like, I'll, I'll do what Roblox does. I'll take like a 23% commission and I'll help you sell those. Let's, let's, let's get this, let's get this cooking, shed. Because right now you're squatting on gold. There is no reason to hold any longer. Diamond hands is a curse, not a blessing. This is a breathtakingly irresponsible feature to put in a game where around half of the users are aged 12 
and under. Especially so when there's no warning anywhere on this page about how much you might lose and no upper limit of how much you can spend. Oh, of Whether course not. We want them spending a, a ton. Thousand or a few tens of thousands. There are Whoa, items here. What the buy. fuck Ro is that? 618 million Robux? What the fuck? That's 10 billion dollars! What? What was it? The red banana of what? Red bandana of SQL injection. What is speed dial? Oh. <laughs> it was my other tab. Where's Roblox.trade? Give me the ledger. Holy shit. Of course, yeah, Roblox obviously has one. Oh my god, they must be so mad that their accounts are terminated with one of these on it. Oh my god, they have to be fucking fuming. This has to be the most exp Oh my god, they've all been purged. This might be a conspiracy. Maybe it's so expensive Roblox bans these accounts because it's too powerful. It's $2 million USD, 618 million Robux. I don't want to do the calculations in my head, but it's definitely over a million. It's definitely got to be, fuck it, I'll do it again, let me see. All right. So, here we go. 618,000, 6 6.1 million, 61 million, 618 million. So 2.163 million dollars. Holy shit. Oh my god. And some of these kids have it. Why won't you sell it? If someone's gonna buy this lib, you've gotta dump it now. That is life-changing money. And you, Luke. Don't think I don't see you down here, you fucking idiot. Try and dump it. ASAP. This has to be the most expensive item in Roblox. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Of course, Google's listening to me. All right, let's see. I need something more up-to-date. June, the prices are going crazy now. June's too, too deep, too far back. Thanks for your sub, Limmy. I need something as of like the last two or three months. Let me see. I'll, I'll still check. This is only 80,000. Get the fuck out of here. The Ultra Commando. Almost a billion Robux. Is this, is this the most expensive? This is store price, not resale. Yeah, but what else did what else are these kids gonna base it on? It's it hasn't changed owners in three years. So they can only go by these graphs, which means they only see these massive numbers. Doesn't matter. I understand asking price isn't market price, but there is no market. There is only three pages worth of owners, and almost all of them are terminated. I don't know who's going to fucking buy it, but you've got to try. You've got to fucking try. If you have this, you have to try. Look at NFTs. Who is buying pictures of fucking uh, Chakra the Invincible smoking a cigarette, right? But you have people bidding $100,000 on it. There's a prime Drake on. They've got to at least try it. You can cut that price in half. And still be set. So the Ultra Commando has got to be the most expensive, right? At least according to this. Is there a way to just search by Roblox catalog price? Sort by price, let me see. That, that'd be much easier. Is the prime in Mendoza sort by collectible? 
collectible. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. That worked. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of these. Okay. I see. That wasn't an anomaly. So it really pops off after the Ronald Mc... Ronald McNinja. Thanks to the prime element. Jesus Christ. What is the limited U? What is the U? Oh, this doesn't even have a price chart. Does this mean it's like locked? Oh, there was what? Wait, someone sold here? Or what is this? What, what is this flat line? What is the one? It means limited you. Well, thank you. Limited you. Items have serial numbers. Limited don't. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's not working. Probably because there are no resellers, I guess. Let me check the ledger. What, what am I on right now? The S Foth Four Crown of Fire. No, it hasn't changed hands recently. Oh, a lot of people have this. Oh, this is a stupid price then if this many people have it. Oh yeah, no, that shit will never sell then. But someone said Ultra Commander, Ultra Commando has a seller right now. This is a new item. This is only three years old. Oh, it was given exclusively to Ultra Goat. Oh. Okay. So, that, all right, I, I see. So this is kind of like Tyler the Great Warrior in Yu-Gi-Oh. It was a card that Konami made for a kid that was struggling with a disease. And it is listed as one of the most valuable cards ever. So it's kind of like that for Roblox. I see. Okay. Thanks to Tier 1 Soggy Shorts in the resub. Jomo HD. That's sweet. I think that's very sweet. Hopefully he never sells that. Oh my god, he sold that, according to this. Oh my god, he actually sold it. <laughs> what? Well, hopefully he sold it for the full 2 mil. Or actually, no, it would be 3 mil. 2 mil was for 600. 600 million Robux equaled 2.1 mil. So his would be... Yeah, it'd be right around 3 mil. Hold on, let me go to the let me go to the ledger. When did he sell? Where, why is it not here? He's just here. Oh. So he sold it nine months ago. Oh my. Hopefully it was still peaking. Hopefully it was still at that like billion Robux. Let's see. Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Kevy here. Just show me how much it sold for. Opinions you'll never see him coming. So as you guys can see, Ultrago is no longer the owner of this item. He actually traded the one of one copy, his special hat, to UC Unknown. He gave a sub Arctic Commando, Classic Fedora, Ultra Commando, and in return he received the Dominus Infernus. He traded an item valued at 3 million real world dollars for in game items. No. Oh no. 
fuck, that's sad. Oh, God. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I mean, this all ties back to this. It is a horrible idea to let kids have something that valuable. Oh, fuck, that's sad. That is actual life-changing money. Again, you might not sell it for three million, but you will sell it to one of these crazed fucking collectors for at least a big chunk. In a game like Roblox, I have a one of one in a fucking thriving market, apparently. You would have made a ton. Oh, God, that's sad. Uh... But hats off to this guy who just gave up a, what is this? A, an Easter egg with an arrow pointing out of it? Whatever the fuck this is? I don't know what it is. Hats off to him for trading this for the Ultra Commando. Hey, that guy, he's going places. This is the art of the deal right here. He's going places. This is the art of the deal right here. Damn. Thanks for resub, Foamy. I hope his parents never see what that item was worth. Here is his profile page, as you can see. Ultra Goat right here, he is on the Dominance and Furnace, and here's his description right here. He talks about how he's going to be quitting Roblox in the near future, I believe, so... Oh, it's even more to reason go, to have sold it for money. That he wanted, I guess. I guess he really wanted the Dominance and Furnace, so I'm glad that he got a hat that he wanted, and I wish him the best in his future endeavors. Now, if you look at this trade, Dominance and Furnace is actually valued at around 7.5 million, so if you're looking at it from a technical term, Ultra Commando should be valued now at around 7 million because... It added a little bit for Dominance and Furnace, but it was able to get like... I don't know about that. That seems a little low. Oh, man. All right. Back to the... We got real sidetracked. We, we got way off course. This has been wild. Roblox does have this warning pop-up that the exchange you're about to do involves real money, but this is only shown when you're buying Robux, something most parents will do for their kids with a credit card. If you're a kid who wants to spend their money, there's no such warning. Look at this. You can buy collectible as easy as click and a click and my money's gone. There is a reason that societies do not allow children to gamble. I see, I, I see it now. To have a firm understanding of now I get it. Of risk of addiction. Most adults I know don't have a firm understanding of all three. I once rode in the back of a taxi with the driver telling me his winning strategy for roulette for 20 minutes. But even worse, because gambling and investing are both seen as adult activities. Are you telling me that there's a Roblox to to slot activities. streamers? Kids, kids want to act like adults. Oh my God. Roblox should be warning. This is amazing. The collectibles market, not encourage them, and certainly not trying to keep the whole feature continually exciting by minting new collectibles and working with pop stars to get kids excited. To date, they have minted 12 different Roblox Gucci handbags. And just as a point of reference, actual adult stock market trading apps are required by law to issue a warning that you can lose as well as make money. Oh, People man. Made Games was contacted by one source who made a lot of money trading these collectible items and today works in venture capital. He was only willing to speak to us on condition of total anonymity. Oh, boo! His are going to be read it's by Sonic the Hedgehog, isn't it? Brad. Ultimately, what they've made here is something that lets kids trade extremely valuable non-fungible tokens and they can't actually it's probably jim wool actually regulations they would have to navigate. man's a fucking fiend Even the currency of robux right now the legality of that is really questionable we asked roblox with regards to the collectible store does roblox consider it responsible to market items costing tens of thousands of dollars to children and does roblox consider it responsible to display statistics such as a price chart and original price for collectibles implying that children can make money buying such items roblox did not respond although in response to a different question they did tell us that parents can set spending limits on roblox but judging by the amount of headlines around the world of kids running up outrageous so it looks like they didn't answer anything you've got to wonder at all if this is a setting Weird. that should be switched on by default but also, spending limits that parents can turn on is hardly a bulletproof solution when users on Roblox can make money themselves without involving their parents at any point. And this brings us on to part four. This is our talk. 
So for almost a decade, there's been a black market on Roblox. It's been an important part of the economy for at least 10 years, and no one's really talked about it because the only ones in the know are the ones participating in it. The black market that R was talking about there <gasps> includes websites like oprewards.io, rbx.place. Oh, so God. What do any of these websites do? Well, you Let's know how if you're selling one of these expensive collectible items on Roblox, Roblox will the take Roblox black market. of the sales price? And do you remember how Roblox buys your Roblox at a, just a horrible rate so you don't get much actual cash for the Robux you sell? These websites connect Roblox users who want to buy or sell collectibles and Roblox users who want to buy or sell their Robux. So if you're a kid who wants a Roblox Gucci handbag for cheap, you can buy it straight from a seller. Or if you're a Roblox developer who wants to turn the Robux their game earns into a bigger real life paycheck, you can sell your Robux to users directly and make way more money. Let's go! Reasons. Obviously, if Roblox is going public on the stock market, then it's not the greatest look for them if there's been this underground black market of kids buying and selling from each other. And because these trades are happening outside of Roblox, there's no way they can moderate it or even track trades to punish scammers. Is there some JRM in clear, London? As anyone who has tried pirating anything ever will know, illegal websites are not safe places for kids to end up. There's malware, credit card phishing, scams, hidden fees. These websites will make kids watch videos or fill out forms to say nothing of the fact that kids have to get legally creative when it comes to how to put their money- Imagine the it. IRS just throws now, all these kids no in the slammer. That these websites exist. What is surprising is how- Oh, I see you visited Roblox Black Market. How the most popular ones have been up and Why didn't you pay your tax on for it? For years. That makes no sense when they completely undermine Roblox's business model and the reason R said that they're still alive is that they are now fundamental to Roblox's economy. Everybody is using Julio. these sites from top game developers down. Of course, people who get caught doing it, their accounts are banned. So Roblox has to somewhat enforce it. But at the same time, most people turn to that because DevX, the term for officially converting Robux to real I've already money, seen it drifting blue. It's kind of a gamble in the first place. Because if you have limitations or bans or anything like that, or if you're not a community member in good standing, you might not be able to DevX. Roblox can't crack down on it because they just get backlash. So they turn a blind eye to Thanks it. Thanks for the We encourage everyone to keep their interactions and communications on the platform where we are able to monitor and intervene. Often, scams and other abuses happen off the platform on other sites. This is why it is expressly against our policies to direct users off-site. Really, Roblox? Is it really against your policies to direct Thanks users off-site? GBA. What about your company-wide policy of not acknowledging the existence of websites that give your users more money if they go off-site? What about your decision to shut down the Roblox forums because you couldn't create a, quote, constructive and positive environment? Where did you think those users were going to go? People Make Games will probably not be making another video on Roblox because frankly, an airsoft charity event sounds cool. It's just super depressing. I can look into the it. The platform today is almost inconceivably massive and getting more power and more money. Yeah, let's go. In fact, just as we were finishing putting this video together, Roblox released their latest earnings report and the company skyrocketed in value once again. Roblox is now officially oh. bigger than Nintendo. And this success is alarming because Roblox right now so is setting the standard for what society expects in the future of digital labor, of internet child safety, and accountability of big tech. The CEO of Roblox now has a net worth in the billions. The company makes decisions that affect tens of millions of young people. And yet when we ask them questions where wow. Roblox's own policies appear actively harmful to their young users, we were told that we weren't being objective, while this company refused to even admit the existence of the collectible stock market that they created, of the underground black market of websites that they allowed to exist. They didn't say anything to us about this questionable reality of kids working underneath other kids. So that's interesting. Does Roblox, what does Roblox say about the stock market because it's inarguable it is a stock market they've created in their items and their collectibles what do they say about it thanks to the resub mountains nothing not a damn how is there so much hoobla about loot boxes in games but no one talks about that i didn't realize that was a thing I feel like that would be a much bigger topic of discussion, especially since most kids use their parents' credit card 
to buy those items, I feel like most of them are aware of it. Why isn't it like an issue? I didn't realize it was this thing. That's exactly why. Well, it's because I don't play Roblox. If I was a parent and my money was being siphoned in the fucking hats on the Roblox store, I'd notice it. These kids don't have their own money to spend, obviously. Well, I guess maybe they do, since they're working for developers on Roblox. So I guess maybe that's possible. I don't really know. I just feel like Roblox being the most profitable game, one of the most profitable games in the world right now, most people would have immediately put that stock market in their crosshairs. But I haven't heard shit. I had no clue. I had no clue. It's user curated, so technically people don't freak out because it's not Roblox directly. But Roblox takes, what was it, 30%? 30% of a sale? So they are directly involved in it. Like, they make a lot of money off it. Because it's not popular enough for adults. That's true. A lot of the mobile games that always get targeted, the main player base is adults. Fucking Clash, or not Clash. What was the big one? What was the one that got EA banned for a little while overseas? Was it FIFA? Might have been FIFA. Yeah, and Candy Crush is entirely just parents and grandparents. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it would have been a bigger talking point for, like, everyone that talks about loot boxes. I feel like they would have brought up Roblox at some point. But again, I didn't know about it, so I guess maybe a lot of people don't, which is shocking, considering how popular the game is. They told us that we weren't seeing the bigger picture while refusing to even admit the existence of whole parts of this picture. This isn't PR. This is gaslighting. So... Considering that People Make Games probably won't be doing another video on Roblox, we want to try and wrap this all up, give you some kind of conclusion or takeaway on all of this. Whatever you might find concerning about Roblox as a platform, all of it feels to me like a natural consequence of a company with a profit motive able to act under next to no scrutiny. I'm a journalist of technology and games, and it took me Months to unpick how Roblox operates, and that was only with the help of dozens of Roblox users explaining things to me. What hope do most parents and politicians have of understanding exactly what their kids are doing on Roblox, or with who, or the many and varied ways that Roblox Corporation is profiting from them? To be fair though, it's not like that hard to guess or understand. Take the most popular game in the world, understand it's made for kids, and understand there's a stock market. And you can immediately see why there's a lot of bad things that can come from that. I guess it's just making people aware that the stock market exists. And it's kids that are working for free to make the games on the service. And I don't think Roblox has any inclination to help parents and politicians understand exactly how their business works because right now Roblox is making money hand over oh, probably fist, Roblox. Julian. and they're not going to want to do anything that gets in the way of that no matter how many young people shout that this is not a platform that values their well-being Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, kind of depressing, eh? Um, a if you'd like to stuff. thank us for our work, there's one big thing you can do, and that is go to patreon.com slash peoplemakegames and make a donation of whatever you think this video is worth. Those donations make a huge difference to the lives of myself and the rest of the team who put this video together, and your money will help to fund future investigations. This is a really good video. I think they did a great job with the whole thing. So I saw this in the chat. I have a different opinion. I think in-game stock market is good because it teaches kids about the economy. Yeah, but it shouldn't come at the expense of, like, real money. If you want to teach kids about the stock market, give them not real assets. Sure, teaching kids about the stock market is great. But not when it's... A, like, we just watched a kid who had a one-of-one one item valued at $3 million give it away for in-game items. That's not really teaching them anything valuable. That's something that they'd look back on in the future and be like, oh my god.
Like, you can teach kids these things without it coming at the expense of actual money and their well-being. Thanks to Prime. Assumably. Thanks to the resub, Niniro. The kid isn't able to convert it unless it's a dev. We just learned about the Roblox black market. Assu okay, let's assume some of those items that were valued at that are completely untrade- Well, they're not untradeable since you can trade them. They can't an instantly convert it or anything like that. You can just use the black market and trade the item through a transaction on the black market. We just watched that. So you can absolutely do that no matter what the item is. God, now I want to own all those fucking Roblox items. I'll be the kingpin. You want your Dominus... Fuck was it? The Dominus... Impossibly hot... Hat? What the fuck? What? Oh my god. I don't remember any of these stupid names. Well, you have to go through me. For your parents' money. Thanks to tier one skater. Do yeah, Dominus Infernus, that was the one. They'll have me on that controversial Roblox users list. <laughs> Fucking Wolf of Wall Street Roblox. Thanks for your David. Americans are dumb. They fall to literally every stupid thing. Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft. Ex I mean, I got some bad news for you. Like, those three games you just listed are extremely popular everywhere. I don't know why you, like, put only Americans in there. I get having, like, pride in wherever you're from, but it's, it's not just Americans, man. In fact, I think the kid that had that hat, I think he was French, right? Because his bio was in French. Thanks to the gift sub, Sneak. And the resub, Cockadile. That was so interesting. I learned a lot. Fuck, man. I'm walking away from this knowing that uh, knowing that I missed out. Being a kid in this day and age is so much better than being a kid when I was. Do you just have so many options to make money for no fucking reason? Like you can do NFTs. I, there was that story about like what was it, nine year old who was minting NFTs and they're a millionaire now. And the people that bought the nine year old's NFTs just thought they were like high art pieces or some shit. You had Gary V go on Twitter and saying, is there anyone under 13 years old that likes NFTs? XOXO. So he's probably going to pay kids to make NFTs for him. And then you have Roblox. Oh my, there's just so many options. Fucking crazy, man. Thanks for the prime time. This was this was exciting. Is there anything else that I like don't know is currently going on that would be interesting? That's a stupid question. Does Minecraft have anything like this? I don't know any I'm not like I'm not super knowledgeable on Minecraft or anything like in the underground Minecraft scene. Do they have anything like similar? I'm talking to a girl. I mean, it's just as exciting. Congratulations, man. Fuck yeah. Yeehaw. I know, Julian. I know. You can buy ranks on big servers. Well, that's fucking boring. That's not cool. Thanks to the Prime Bach. Mm. 
I know about 2B2T. It's not exactly the same. 2B2T has some interesting stories. I do know them. But it's not really like in this same ballpark here. 